Hello everyone and welcome back to another Stormworks video. In today's video we're going to go ahead and building a submarine here in advanced mode on the creative island. Pretty much I'm going to be going through the first step of building a submarine where we're going to actually build the hull itself, uh, build the bow, build the stern of the actual submarine, uh, we also bring, then build the tower, uh, so where we're going to be getting in and out of the submarine. Uh, along with that we'll also set up in this video will be the ballast system uh, and the basic fundamentals uh, of getting the submarine started. We'll then go ahead into the next video of part two where we'll start adding um, different components like the propellers, the engines uh, and getting everything perfected. So with all that done and said we'll go ahead and get started. So we'll go ahead over to our workbench here. Now first off we're going to be building is going to be the hull itself. Uh, now I have got the X-plane enabled. First off what I like to do is just to build a simple cross. So we'll go up by five blocks We'll then go down by five blocks. This is going to be the frame of the actual uh, submarine, the hull. So you can see here we have a perfect cross now. Uh, it's going five blocks out, five blocks down, five blocks up. And we'll go ahead and we'll actually just fill this in completely. So it makes a perfect square. And then we'll go ahead and start just deleting the outside blocks so we get a nice circular shape here obviously using blocks um, so once we have that done we can actually go ahead and start building our submarine uh, for the purpose story I'm just going to go ahead and do it about 60 blocks of length uh, and then we can go ahead and start filling this all in so you simply just go ahead and drag the blocks across until you have the base shape we're looking for a cigar like shape of a submarine so that's perfect what we're going to head now is do is build the front of the submarine itself now we want a almost like a bubble shape um in the front so what we'll do is i'm just going to go ahead and actually just enclose this completely uh, and then what we're going to do is pretty much just go in by one on each and then go let's say three blocks length and then we're gradually going to just bring it down on each layer or each time we go in we're going to go one less block if that makes sense you can go ahead and delete these extra blocks that you don't need and then we as i said we're just going to go in by one and then this time we're going to do two blocks and then we're going to bring it down to one block Fantastic. So now we got that done. That's just going to be our basic bubble shape. Obviously, you can go ahead and customize it to how you want. Um, delete a couple of extra blocks here and there uh, to get it to exactly how you like. Um, I'm happy with this right now, so we're going to leave it like that. Just make sure that whatever blocks you have gone delete it, it is all sealed. Now that we've done the front, uh, we're going to go and have a look at the rear. I have gone ahead and built the rear portion of the submarine up uh, in exactly the same fashion as how the front was done. I'm um, just building it in one and instead of doing it three blocks this time, I've done a quite a longer length and then slowly stepped it back um, where we will obviously then go ahead in the next video and add propellers onto it. So next up, what we're going to go ahead and do is um, we're going to add a little bit of weight to the bottom of the submarine, which I've gone ahead and done also. Uh, this is just pretty much going to go ahead and prevent the boat from actually rocking left and right um, so that the bottom of the submarine itself will always be at the bottom, if that makes sense. Uh, this is essential. Obviously, you can add a different amount of weight uh, as to how you need it. Um, I'm just going ahead and use this much. So hopefully that when it sits in the water, it will sit about that, about that height. Um, so next off, what we need to go ahead and do is add our ballast system. Now briefly, I'm just going to go ahead and talk about a submarine and the basics of it. Um, so it's going to have two ballast systems, one at the front, one at the rear. When it wants to submerge, so become from about this height and water to a fully submerged state, uh, it's going to go ahead and fill those two ballast systems up. Once it's gone ahead and submerged, it's then controlled um, with its fin, um, its fin rudders, or as as another word saying, control surfaces. So you'll have a set of control surfaces here at the back that's going to obviously uh, use it and control it in a pitch fashion. So it's going to either be able to dive or lower. And then you'll have another set here which is going to be in the front of the hull, or you can have it up on the tower itself, which is going to be also directed to pitch, um, to dive or to raise. 
and then once again that's not going to bring it to full sea level um and it's you have to obviously blow the ballast tanks out to get it then to be fully unsubmerged or fully raised above the water line um so we'll go ahead and dive straight in and we'll then add our ballast systems so we're going to go ahead and add one here in the rear so just by filling up those blocks there and then we're going to go ahead and add another one just in the front obviously this can the size of these can change depending on how you want to um you obviously have to do some testing to see as how far it sinks into the water or how far it submerges and how far obviously you have to make it bigger if you want or add more weight uh, it's pretty much just a game of trial and error um, until you get it right but that's the basic concept of it uh, and that's for the purpose of the story to show the concept so next off we obviously need pumps to start filling these up now you want the fluid ports themselves to be at the lowest point in the tank so for us in the rear tank here it's going to be just over here so we can go ahead and start making some holes so we just need a hole just over there and that's where we're going to have our port to fill and to take out so as you can see i still have the x-plane enabled and i'm going to keep that enabled for the current point in time so we'll have one port to fill one port to take out and then what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and add some piping on there uh, two pumps on as you can see both these pumps at the moment are going to suck water out of the system which is fine we can go ahead finishing all, all this piping up and then i'll show you at the end uh, of this little area is how we're going to go ahead and actually just change that so that one pump fills and one pump actually empties so we'll go ahead just finish all this piping and then just add simple fluid ports just by holding our control again as always clicking on here and then we have two so both of them as i said at the moment are taking water from the tank and taking it out of the system so what we want is we want one to do that and one not to do that so we're just going to go ahead disable x plane delete this and that means that we can now go ahead and place another one down which means this one's going to fill and this one's going to x take the reason why i had x plane there was just so i could get all the piping and everything done in a nice symmetry fashion you can make it look better uh, but for this tutorial, we'll just keep it like this. So once we have this done, uh, we'll also go ahead and add a fluid sensor. Uh, fluid sensor is obviously going to go ahead and tell us how much fluid is in the tank, and then we'll get that hooked up to a temporary control panel for the moment to get everything started. So once we have that done, we'll go ahead and just jump to the front quickly, where we'll go ahead and do exactly the same thing. We'll go ahead and add a fluid sensor, and then we'll start adding a couple of pipes. along with the fluid port and we'll just start getting this all piped up obviously you can see i haven't got my x plane enabled so just remember to enable that if you want to build it in the same fashion how i built the rear so i'm just going to go ahead and place down a another one of those another one of those enable my x plane again and then start building this all up quickly So we're going to do is put the, pump, the pumps down again as i did in the rear and then what we'll do is do all the piping and then we'll go ahead at the end and then just delete one so we have one coming in and one coming out at the moment both of these are taking water from in and then bringing it into the tank and then export it and then leaving it in the tank uh so we'll go ahead to say well explain again and just delete one of these pumps as always hold down control click on what you want to take and then you can just quickly auto select it instead of going in your inventory and looking through your inventory just make sure this is the opposite way to the other pump and then that's all done taken so that's our front ballast done and our rear ballast done now for the top of the submarine itself we need to obviously make a little observation deck or in another word for it it's just going to be the tower of the submarine so to do that we're just going to add a simple rectangle block here delete the centerpiece of it obviously delete the centerpiece of the submarine itself and then we're going ahead as we're just going to build this up a couple blocks fantastic once we have that done we can go ahead now and actually just build our deck itself on top of the tower and then we're going to add a door to this so the door i'm going to use is going to just be a simple um docking door so we'll go ahead delete those blocks that we need deleted 
go ahead and select our small docking door. And then what we want to do is just rotate it just to see where it's angled. That's fine. I'm happy with that. And uh, you can see here it's opened up and we got a hatch here to get in and out. Now to get up to here, we're obviously going to need a ladder. So I'm just going to go ahead and place down a ladder quickly. Simple ladder, quick and easy. Uh, you can go ahead and make this a little more prettier by obviously enabling our explain, deleting a couple of these blocks. And you could just use a simple wedge um, just to do that so you can smooth it out a little bit uh, and then yeah that pretty much takes care of that obviously now what we need to do is we need to have a ladder to go inside so the door is opening in this direction so then our ladder will be just over here so we can go ahead and just build this up a bit and then we can place our ladder down and then the ladder going straight down to the bottom where we can go access our sub now obviously we're going to need some buttons to get in and out from here so I'm going to go ahead and just just have my X plane again and then make a hole here, take a toggle button, place a toggle button there, and then we're going to do the same for the top where we'll just place a simple toggle button and that's just going to open and close the system for us so we can get in and out. You could go a little bit more in advance and uh, add like a two-stage door here so obviously water will can never come into the um, submarine itself. However, the build story we're not going to go get into it. We'll start adding those kind of features on later on um, in a couple of future videos. So once we have that all done, we'll go ahead and I will just set up a quick temporary station where we can control everything from. Now, as I said earlier uh, in our tutorial, we're just going to be talking about the ballast system in today's video and we'll future videos we'll talk about a little bit more. So we want two dials, one to obviously tell us the front tank and the rear tank. And then we're just going to go ahead and use one button to control the front and rear filling and then another button to control the front and rear emptying of the tanks. So once we have that all done, obviously the last thing we're going to need because we're here in advanced mode is going to be a battery to operate everything and give electric to everything. So we'll go ahead now, once we have all the components down, we'll go ahead and start wiring everything up. Start with electric as always, uh, and just double check. We have everything connected. So we got our pumps connected, all our two toggle buttons and our dials, along with our buttons to the doors and the hatch. We'll go ahead and jump to data quickly. Um, so first off, we'll connect our sensor for the rear, connect our sensor for the front. We'll go ahead and connect our fill button to our two tanks that are going our two um, pumps that are going to be filling and then connect our drain to our two pumps that are going to be draining once that's connected with last thing to connect now is going to be the door itself uh, or the hatch we we'll just connect these two toggle buttons up uh, so that when one button's pressed, the other button also is pressed. Uh, so it, has, it runs on the same system. And then lastly, we just go ahead and connect that to our open and close system. Perfect. So that's pretty much the logic done uh, and the components done for this part one tutorial. Uh, we'll go ahead and spawn this in and we'll see how it sits in the water. So you can see here it's sitting pretty much about right now. Obviously, it will become a little bit heavier once we add engines and the interior and so on and so forth. We'll go ahead and dump, jump into it, see if we can get inside and then see if we can actually get uh, these ballasts to get filled up with water and see if we can get submerged. Go ahead, open the door, go ahead and drop inside. We're going to go ahead and close that door now because we don't want water to come in. You can see both the tanks are empty at the moment. We'll go ahead and press our fill button and then we'll jump to camera mode and we'll see it go down hopefully. As I said, you can use bigger pumps if you want. Uh, this will obviously fill the system a little bit quicker. Um, but for this tutorial, I've just gone ahead and used the small pumps. And then now you should see it's slowly starting to sink. Uh, we'll go and double check inside our tanks here. That's fine. The water's coming in. You can see it's slowly rising up um, our two meters here. I'll we'll quickly go ahead and jump back to our photo mode where we can watch it. And now you can see it's now nose is now diving below the water. And the rear should start sinking also. So that's pretty much the basic system of the submarine. Uh, as I said, the next part will come in adding the propellers and the um, control fins at the rear and also at the front, either on the tower or on the front of the bow. As you can see here, it's sunk a little bit too much in the rear. That's probably because the, the actual ballast tank is too full or we have too much weight. 
it's all about trial and error with uh, submarines. You have to go ahead and play with it a bit uh, until you get it to how you want. So I think this is a good place to end the video. Um, we'll see you again in part two of the submarine build here in advanced mode. As always, I hope you found the video somewhat informative and useful. Uh, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. If you're enjoying my videos and want to contribute a little bit something to the channel, please don't forget to go ahead and check out my Patreon page. Uh, any amount helps out uh, and obviously helps me make more videos every single day. And we'll see you in the next one.